uh, yeah, that's oh, beautiful. Yeah. That's all right. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I, I, I did see that in the other one, but you know, I, I, that doesn't, doesn't change how much I love it, you know? Yeah. It's kind of got like a braille like texture to it. So you can always say that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we, we uh so matt and i i can't remember who we were with we were with two other people one guy was named ian and i think uh, the girl was named michelle i don't know if you know these people but we were in uh meow wolf and we were in this little like cave room and we were inviting people in and just kind of like at, we were acting like basic i was acting like i was part of the exhibit and like asking people like hey do you guys want to do this quest blah 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 and i was just kind of <laughs> like messing with messing with people and stuff mm -hmm. and we and we ended up we like people loved it like literally people after that were like are you guys do you do you work here and stuff and i was like mm -hmm. no i was just messing around and they were like dude that was like the best part of the exhibit like that was so amazing and uh one of the good parts though is that we forgot we left a doge general po-op in that room so i'm sure at some i hope that at some point someone will find it and message me on twitter and be like yo found a found a doge general <laughs> out in the wild but I'm, my fingers are crossed. It just had a QR code. It was like a piece of paper. No, it was a it was a, one of the little statues that actually had text you could read. So it says, blah blah blah, po op at Doge Generals. So, and then it says, oh wait, is this wait? Can I claim a po op for this one? I have no. That's a physical po op. So that is the po op in itself. Mm. Yeah, it's amazing. You're you're. You're someone after my own heart with the, uh, just like, you know, the impromptu, like, I feel like that's so, and it's such a great place for that. Yeah. Cause it's like bending reality already. So like, it was perfect yeah. to prime people to like, think like, is this real? Is this fake? What's going on here? And then I just act very confident. And like, if you just act like you know what you're talking about, people will automatically like be more likely to buy into it. I see people joining and then leaving like instantly. Is there some issue with our spaces? Yeah, I don't know. I see it too. Weird. Very interesting. It is check coming in and they're they're like, you know, yeah. hearing you talk about Meow Wolf and they're just like, yeah, yeah not, not interested yeah. to me. <laughs> they don't like our, the look of our profile pictures. Well, who, they're who like, doesn't like... Who doesn't like physical poems, right? Yeah, that's true. Maybe they had a bad experience with milk thistle. No one ever has a bad experience yeah. with milk thistle. One no. one of the interesting things, it'd be funny first to do like a test to see are people more likely to just accept it from like a Pepe meme statue or a doge statue like see which type of statue people are most trusting of and then also uh with it within that like it'd, it'd, it'd just be interesting like if someone doesn't know you it seemed like people were just willing to trust you on that that it is milk thistle and people don't even know what milk <laughs> thistle is it would be interesting to kind of explore that space because they are putting a lot of trust in you like you're not dosing them or something you know hey paco It seemed like random people were just down. They were like, yeah, dude, oh, no yeah. Spitzel, I'm fine. Yeah, let's check it out. I think the crypto squad is like pretty like open-minded to just like, oh, cool, like free gift. Yep. <laughs> All right. And just like, oh, yeah. Hey, this is interesting. So I see there's nine people on our call at the bottom when I minimize, but then when I look at the list, it only shows five. So I'm wondering if there's more people in here than we can actually see. I'm gonna log in through my computer too and just check, test it. Yeah, we can kind of, yeah, we can give it a few minutes for everyone. Yeah, to so when in. I hop in on my computer, I can see like Doge Ninja, Chocorado, Johnny, uh, Doge Maximalist, but in my, on my phone, I do not see them listed out. So Doge Ninja, can you like uh, do a, emoji or something or basically anyone live free or die fi johnny chocorado can you do like any action that would show that you hear me right now or maybe dm me i see poopper dot bit is here rave death interesting oh we had a reaction from chocorado 
Chogorado. Okay, cool. And yeah, people are kind of rolling in now. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys, make sure you uh, retweet the space so we get this out, amplify the message. It might just be my uh, Twitter space is messed up, so. Yeah, I hope it's not me. <laughs> no, it's sounding, everything's sounding good to me. And uh, I'm going to ping. I'll ping some of the Ukrainian, Ukraine DAO folks, too, to see if we can get somebody on. It would be cool to hear everything that they're working on, especially since we're kind of, you know, looking at that donation. So, yeah, we'll probably be getting a bank bank or people from bank bank to come and talk about their announcements. Oh yeah. Do you want me to ping them or here? I'll drop the link in there too. <clears throat> And for Angel Protocol. Yeah, so uh, Angel Protocol, they probably won't be on for another half hour. Okay. Uh, but but we have, you know, we obviously have a lot more that we can talk about. Rez. Uh oh. I'm seeing some dank bankers already. Then unfortunately, um, Elliot from Fast Food Friends can't be here, but uh, because there are they're they're super busy getting things ready for the uh, the Baby Doge reveal, which will be pretty cool. Oh yeah, I'm I'm excited to see my the little Baby Doge I breeded. Very excited. Patiently waiting. At least you won't have to free. Uh, no, you will have to feed it more fries. Oh no, our our doge is gonna get super plump. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, and I'm one question. Big. Have, one question I have is, why is it baby doge and not puppy doge? Hmm. That's a good question. Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda, Puppy Yoda sounds kind of good too. Wait, so how many fries do I, so I can feed my baby Doge more fries to make it like a big Doge? Well, no. So the, the breeding weekends are like kind of gamified now, where the first weekend there were like 420 uh, baby Doges that you could or you could breed and and for 420 fry. But every weekend after that, it's going to be, like, less that you can breed for more fry. And then, like, every weekend after that, it's going to be more fry and a smaller batch of babies to uh, to breed. So it, like, it, it basically gets people to want to, to breed early and often before it gets harder to do so. It's almost like a difficulty adjustment. Pretty much. So in, instead of the having, we have the breed the name. Oh, actually, Prez is here. That is a speaker. And we got our usual suspects Yuki Doggo, Doge Ninja, Chakarado. Live free or DeFi, Johnny, Nando. Good crew, good crew. Yeah, everybody, as we get the spaces uh, started up, make sure you retweet the space so all your buddies can join. <laughs> all your friends. <laughs> friends or enemies. I'm okay with that too. You can invite your hater haters in too. Listen in on the dog community call. Uh, I think we can pretty much start, though. I mean, we already Hello. Kind of did by talking. <laughs> Sorry hey, about that. Up, For some reason, uh, I got a call, and I guess when you get a call, it mutes your spaces, and you have to, and you can't. And then it, like, completely 
drops you out of it too because you went from speaker to listener again no i had to leave and come back i couldn't hear any anything that was being said oh okay yeah twitter locks your uh, microphone i they don't want people recording or something like that but it's kind of ironic because they allow you to just record the space now on their platform yeah. it's super annoying so malicious um yeah absolutely huh. it's probably target targeted directly at you they probably changed their whole platform just to yeah they heard the big news to uh, give you a hard time so uh all right well let's get started here i think uh first things first do we want to go through our po-op uh bubba yeah let's do that so we got a po-op uh again through our, uh, the website so if you have a browser up uh, or if you have your po app app you can use this as a secret code too but if you have the browser the url is poap poap dot website backslash do good d o g o o d do good uh all one word lowercase and then if you have the po app app it's just the secret it's the secret code that you put do good in there and only one o away from dog god which i just noticed <laughs> Oh, bring up, uh, bring up the pleaser account too. Good for visibility. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Hello, pleaser fam. GM. There we go. So if oh, everyone got a blue blue check mark. <laughs> Twitter royalty right here. That's that's here. brand new too. Oh wow! Congratulations. That's huge. <laughs> yeah so i don't i don't know if, if if other people have heard the fast food friends um the the baby doge breeding uh the first weekend happened last weekend and then what happens is uh after after you've like bred your baby doges they are in like the incubator um until thursday uh which is then when your baby doges are revealed Today's Thursday. It happens at 3 p.m. Eastern, which means it'll probably ha it'll happen right after our call. So if any of you have uh, bred a, a baby Doge, a baby fast food Doge, um, yeah, get get pumped for the reveal. Uh, it'll happen pretty much soon after, and I'm I'm assuming like you can continue to uh, follow Fast Food Friends to uh, you know see the announcement. We'll make sure to like retweet and everything too. Um, but yeah, it was fun. I think it was like awesome. all, all 420 were, I think if it wasn't all, it was very close to all 420 of them being bred. Um, it was like super fun. I thought, I actually thought too that um, by like feeding your doge fries was pretty funny, but I also thought maybe it was going to be pretty ca uh, gas intensive and it wasn't. Um, so maybe shout out to the devs for doing something and ma making the, the process pretty cheap too. So it made it like pretty fun that way. Um, but just as you guys know, it kind of does get gamified where there is like a, a difficulty adjustment that every weekend the breeding shrinks or you won't, there's like a smaller window of, of baby doges that can be uh, NFTs that can be uh, bred um and i think the, the the fry amount increases too so it's like do it early and often because it'll just get harder and harder um but yeah that, i thought that was a pretty cool mechanism so that is that uh guys and we also have uh prez from dank bank um if you saw our retweet or just remember uh our call with dank bank last week um there was some news coming up about uh, an announcement uh, which was just made. Um, so, Prez, thanks for joining again. And yeah, let's hear about this announcement. Yes, of course. Thank you for having me, Doge team. I love you. Um, XOXO. We have kind of, you know, initiated our hype week, which is going to be 12 days of a uh, raucous activity, including giveaways and also advertisements that are of extreme entertainment value and competitions that you can participate in in exchange for dank bucks which is a currency that's going to be redeemable for dank memes so all week 
you can harvest those sweet dang bucks. And then at the conclusion of that 12 day period, when we go live, we're going live with a big assortment of, uh, of crazy ass memes that you've all seen before. High virality, high quality, authentic goods. There's going to be an auction and then the site will be live and you can swap your dank bucks for memes. You can trade memes in any capacity you want, uh, you know, as a user, but it's going to be super, super cool and super exciting. And all the cool kids are doing it. So yeah, head on over to Dank Bank HQ and then check out the Discord and the website. It's very, very fun, very swaggy. What's Cannot the wait. website? What's the easiest way to get to the website through you guys' Twitter or? Uh, going to bullish.dankbank. If you go to the Twitter and you click on our pinned tweet, there's a reply tweet with a link. That's going to take you to the verification process. You can also just go to dankbank.co. And that's going to show you our landing page, which has an ad and some more information about the best site. And then uh, midway through this hype week, so in a few days, we're going to reveal the the site in its totality, the functional platform. We're going to do some early access uh, giveaways and some fun competitions, and people are going to be able to trade, and we can all see that happening in real time. Get acquainted with the platform before it goes live. Cool. All right, I think, did I just pin your tweet? Yeah, there we go. Is this it? Bullish.dankbank.co, all right? Yeah. And uh, I see you've got Ashley Decan on board as a chief titty officer. That's wonderful. Yeah, it's exciting. We brought on a few people uh, to kind of work with us as social ambassadors, uh, and she's great. She's really, really funny. Yeah, we, we only just got her on. We were speaking to her for a long time, but uh, it's exciting. Hopefully, you know, she'll, she's going to be a real power figure in our community. That's amazing. Uh, can you tell us more about the dank bucks and what, what, do you, what you mean about purchasing or swapping them for dank memes? Is it just, yeah, I want to hear a little bit more about that unless, unless that's still kind of on the low low. We, yeah, so we're going to, like, in two days, we're putting out some more information about, you know, that explains the nuances of the program. But basically, uh, we have dank bucks, and they're a currency uh, that really exists on Discord, but it's redeemable for memes on the, on the dank bank platform. Uh, and you can earn dank bucks by participating in bounties. We're going to have, like, a, a really outrageous bounty every week. Um, you can earn dank bucks by participating in daily meme competitions on our discord so every day you say exclamation point dank and you get a special reaction the feels dank man emoji you use the feels dank man emoji to vote on a meme on you know the infinite scroll of memes in our meme competition channel and then every day the three uh most upvoted memes um are rewarded dank bucks but users also get dank bucks every day just for you know a smaller quantity just for voting and participating in the in those main competitions uh so the idea is to, is to just give people a way to like get exposure simply by participating in the community and uh by creating content that helps helps our helps the community grow and helps explain what the product is and how it how it functions that's dope yeah if you guys highly recommend the discord Highly recommend following the speakers. You guys make sure you're following Prez as well as uh, the Dank Bank HQ account. Yeah, and what? Oh, Prez I'm following Prez. Go, yeah, if you go to bullish.dankbank.co, you can see like all the different ways you can uh, get those dank bucks to to be able to get those dank memes. So, and the Discord is great. Um, so I'm I'm pretty excited to see like. It fleshed out more. Yeah, man, it's exciting. Flesh, it's being, flesh being a keyword. <laughs> yeah, flushed out. It's it's very it's very we've been flushing it out, all right, <laughs> for a long time. I think you're gonna be pretty pretty pleasantly surprised with the level of flushing you see. Any uh any updates on the Carol Baskin uh meme getting onboarded? Oh. Yeah, yeah, we 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 have it. 
All right, cool. Uh, and the Baskins are retaining a very sizable portion of it. Uh, it's exciting, you know. We we really want to make the transition. Right now, a lot of the memes that are on the site are either owned partially by Dank Bank or owned partially by Harry or me. You know, we because that's how we accumulated the initial like reservoir of memes to justify the creation of Dank Bank. But now we're reaching out to a lot of meme creators and trying to, if they're not acquainted with me, NFTs, get deals with them where they're retaining a lot of exposure. Uh, to the meme so so hopefully in the long term we kind of do away with this system where you know we're paying a lot for these memes initially and then fractionalizing them and we get to a point where uh creators are really really like benefiting more than anyone else from from what we're doing so that, this is exciting carol baskin is an example of that uh and they also put together a little video for us which is really really funny i think you guys will love it Oh man, I can't wait. And we actually have the official Dank Bank account in here now. Hello, I believe it's probably Harry. Yes. Hello, gang. Good to see you. Well, good to hear you all. Yeah, you as well. Yeah, I think, I mean, we were just talking about the uh, the official announcement of Dank Bank and how you can go to bullish.dankbank.com. Uh, to be able to start earning those dank bucks. Redeemable for real life dank memes. Real life, yes. <laughs> well, I don't know about real life. Yeah. Metaverse Not dank memes. Not the fictional dank memes you hear about. <laughs> those non-fungies. All right. So, uh, oh, okay, I think we have... Uh... Zen, yep. Cephalon, oh, maybe not. Oh, we're, I think someone from Ukraine, Dow, will join to kind of like give an update on like everything that's going on there. You know, like there's a bunch of people in Pleaser that are involved and we're looking at, get, you know, getting involved, supporting them as well. So I'll maybe I'll just interrupt whenever they, they pop on. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, thank, thank Bank for, for coming on. Um, unless you, unless there was anything else that we didn't get to cover, yeah, feel free to shill now. Um, yeah, we're nothing we're, else. We're if huge. you want to earn some dank memes, head to head to the bounties page, bullish.dankbank.co, and then you'll be hearing a lot more and seeing a lot more stuff in the next few days. But yeah, thank you guys for having us and Preds. We love you. You you're welcome. <laughs> love you, friends. <laughs> love you guys. Thanks for coming again. Yeah, thank you. It's always fun. You guys, you guys have a phenomenal uh, background picture on uh, Twitter, by the way, for the Dank Bank uh, profile. It's super dope. So. Thank you. We got a bunch of those. We got a full time Pepe King. <laughs> of, of course, why not? Exactly. All right. So uh, moving right along, uh, Paco, do you have the mic? Are you able to speak a little bit about your Medium article? I was super impressed with the. Uh, how you kind of articulated the benefits of joining uh, the dog community, a lot of the cool stuff we're doing with the dog DAO donation fund, et cetera. Do you want to kind of give your, uh, your high level on that or what do you think? Yeah. So uh, the tweet is pinned, right? Yeah. I think I just pinned it. It's the deep dive into dog. Okay. Yeah, guys. Uh, no, you can go into that and maybe give it some claps and just follow the medium uh you know uh the doge times in general uh, so you can follow all the new articles we've, we've been dropping and yeah i i just feel like uh we, we've been sort of uh talking a lot about a lot of different things but we didn't really have a place to sort of store everything about uh, the Doge NFT and you know the dog project. Uh, so I, I thought an, a simple article that sort of not only mentions what the Doge NFT is, but also what you get by holding dog and uh, uh, the, the different events uh, and projects we've already built. So uh, it's really a great resource to share it with someone new, or if you just want to learn about what dog is. Um, and, and yeah, I feel like we 
we have a lot of educational content now, you know, medium articles, tweet threads. Uh, we have the video um, which is pinned to our main Twitter right now. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we would really appreciate you guys just sharing it around. Maybe, you know, um, y you need some thread that is mentioning fractionalized entities or you it just happen to, uh, you know, stumble upon someone that is maybe, you know, questioning, you know, where are the meme NFTs, right? And yeah, so, so things like that would be, you know, a very good way to um, share what yeah. the project is about, yeah. Absolutely. I thought it's just like a wonderful way you articulated uh, what the Doge NFT is, how it was fractionalized, and how people can kind of join in to our community and how much fun we have together. I think, you know, it's like, it's wonderful. We have this little slice of uh, heaven here. And the more we can share and amplify our voice as a community, I think the better it is. So I really encourage everyone to read the article, but then also make sure you do the little clap thing at the bottom left hand corner of Medium. And then you're also sharing that article on Twitter or with your friends. Uh, I really think it's a cool uh, piece. So Paco, nice work on that, man. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and I, I really like how it's all finally kind of put together like the, of like uh, the the first day of dog up until now, it actually shows like it's like how much has been has been going on and how uh, and how a lot of it is has come from the community. So like the community involvement uh, for for everything that's gone up until now uh, has has been pr pretty awesome to see. Uh, especially like I think in the medium article, there's a, a collage of all the all like the major things that have happened, and the collage was so big, I think it had to be parsed into two images um it's been really fun it's been really fun to see like the uh some of the events that we've done and then like the the competitions we've ran some like some good memes that have come out of things and then also like a lot of these uh really very interesting collabs and and uh projects that have come out of the bark tank so yeah i would say that is definitely something that I feel like we, we, we have content on now, right? When anybody wants to ask about dog, um, we, we've got it in medium articles, uh, tweet threads, we got videos, we have got, we've got graphics. So it's like, you know, something that you either want long form or bite size, we've got it, right? So as Doge King said, like, now we're just uh, ready to get get our community kind of spread that word if we can like weaponize them in a way you know to to spread it far and wide um we're, we're ready for it and i think the the easiest way to do that uh is through bounties um so we're going to revisit layer three uh a lot harder uh for i i would say that this this time around uh where we're going to like incentivize our community to uh you know to create some more in, in, engaging content uh, it, whether it's through TikToks, memes, uh, any other sort of like affiliate or engagement um, type of initiatives, uh, we're 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 gonna look to really start to um, double down on on the bounties and 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 get them out so people can uh, you know, earn dog for doing cool things for the community. So very excited about that. Yeah, same. That's same. Got to help our doggos. Yeah, if yep. anyone that if anyone is interested in, in being like a raider with us on Twitter and helping amplify our tweets, shoot a DM to Doge Generals and I'll add you to our uh, raid channel as well. If you're a Doge NFT Maxi. All yeah, right. Absolutely. Um, we have uh, Zencephalon on who can speak just a little bit to give everyone like the thousand foot view on Ukraine DAO, where we've been, you know, we have friends from Pleaser involved and we've been kind of supporting, but like looking at, you know, how we can support with maybe a small donation uh, from the dog DAO as well. 
So uh, Zen would love to uh, get your take on it. Hey everyone, yeah, we just had a big day today. We just fractionalized the NFT that um, we were raising auction for and dispersed all the funds. So airdrop is done. Um, it's pretty crazy. We started only less than a week ago and raised six point five million dollars approximately of ETH. And I'm really grateful actually to the dog community because fractionalizing the Doge meme was this pioneering move that has really paved the way for efforts like Free Rostow and now Ukraine DAO to happen. Um, so we're literally standing on the shoulders of a giant Doge. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, it's like some really good do good everyday stuff came came after this first project through a lot of the Pleaser fam and so yeah, Free Ross DAO with like prison reform and Ukraine DAO with humanitarian causes. It's like pretty incredible to see like the crypto community come together for social impact. Yeah, and how fast it spins up, right? It always, it's always so fun when it ends up just being like a, a, a mind share of two or three people. And, and how it goes from just that like small telegram room of like of two or three people and then it, and then it grows to you know uh, an almost seven million dollar uh, uh, pot you know to, to go to charity uh, and you know for humanitarian relief it's insane and, and, and you know within a week uh, I think that's probably one of the, the coolest things about crypto is just how you can go from idea to execution in no time flat. Yeah, I don't know if there if, if anything else you want to share, Zen, or is, if if uh, I I guess what maybe yeah, maybe one thing that would be helpful, clear is like where so where do you guys focus the funds like now that you've uh, you did that first airdrop and like how what looks like what is it the you know project look like going forward as far as continuing to raise? Yeah, so that's a great question. We've had a bit of a roller coaster ride in terms of sending the donations because uh, we had lined up a charity partner come back alive in Ukraine, um, really legit organization. However, uh, we sent them a test transaction just to make sure they could receive our donations. And then we started asking them some questions about like their wallet set up. And we realized that they just had a hot wallet going on. And we we're like, uh, not gonna- Oh boy. Like YOLO, six million dollars <laughs> into a hot wallet. Um, <laughs> so we've been doing some education with them about like, okay, you need at least a hardware wallet. It'd be best if the organization could set up a multi-sig. Um, various due diligence with that. We may end up sending a portion to the Ukrainian government wallet just because we have a lot of faith and confidence that the government wallet knows what to do with the funds and can kind of do everything safely. Um, that said, we're still working with various charity partners to make sure they're kind of like prepared to receive this kind of money. Awesome. Awesome. Well, great work guys. Appreciate, appreciate everything you're doing there and such a short period of time too. It's such a fast turnaround. If anyone's not following the like Ukraine Dow Twitter account, they're constantly doing updates on, you know, like how quickly I love the little spreadsheet math and like how how like a thousand dollars like every minute or something is like what it's worked out to be pretty insane yeah crypto steve's financial mind <laughs> <laughs> uh zen i did have a quick question though um what what would the uh love token uh do for someone who holds it now that it like now that this ukraine ukrainian flag has been fractionalized is it is it like governance over like where donations are going to be sent you know that's a really cool idea for how to use it uh our plan was just to donate all funds and not have a treasury left over and not really have a DAO post crisis um so we didn't really design a tokenomics plan all Love tokens were sent to people who donated, and there was no allocation created for the DAO or anything. Um, 
so yeah, right now it's just fully in the hands of the people. Would definitely be open to somebody organizing um, some kind of governance structure. Uh, I'm personally like tired AF right now, so I'm gonna like take a nap at some point and think about these questions later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you've, and you've been doing a lot of great work with Free Ross Dow too. <laughs> yeah, I think this is it. You know, it's like bringing more attention to the tragedy that's unfolding in Ukraine is incredibly important, especially because it's just as much of an information war as it is a real war on the ground, especially when you have states that are basically putting their intelligence services in action to spread fake information and misinformation. So I think it's great that you guys are bringing attention to the crisis as well as providing these donations and uh, sharing good information. And, and I also found uh, your point on making sure that, you know, the funds are going to be used correctly and like there aren't going to be any issues with that is uh, really important as well. It's a it's a, it's kind of a, a proof case for why crypto is incredibly important. One of the charities that I was supporting in Ukraine, they lost their GoFundMe page because they were uh, giving funds to the Ukrainian military directly, and that's against the rules there. So, like uh, showing that crypto can kind of fill gaps in there is also very important. Uh, one of the Doge General artists actually lives in Ukraine, uh, and she lives she actually lives in Kharkiv, right on the border. And it's just an absolutely horrific uh, situation. So I really encourage everyone to both, you know, donate time or money if you have it to this cause. And then also, I just encourage people to share accurate and true information of what's going on on the ground. So I I really appreciate your guys' work in this space. It's super inspiring. Yeah, we even, the, um, I think I mentioned this before, but the team, uh, that was behind the Doge Temple microverse. I think they're all from Ukraine. And one of the first things we wanted to do was to, you know, just make sure that they were all right and, you know, communicative. And we were actually able to bring one or two of their members over to Ukraine now, um, you know, just to kind of hopefully, I don't know, whether he was going to donate time or just donate information just from being like, boots on the ground now, um, you know, just always thinking about, you know, th that team and, and how they're doing and, you know, just anything else we, we can do to, to support them, you know, because I just feel like Ukraine has such a, there's so many Ukrainian people that are in the Web3 space that it, it feels like almost every project either has people that participate in their community from Ukraine or is part of the, the team. So, that's why it, it definitely feels like it's a it's a crypto wide effort to 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 do our part and we're we're definitely see it coming to fruition. So yeah, big thanks to to Zen and you know just the, the a few of the Pleaser DAO members that have uh, spun up Ukraine DAO um, to make it just as special, if not more, you know, just just as special as what they did with uh, with Free Ross DAO and just always uh, finding the most unique ways to. Uh, make the the biggest impact, um, you know, and, and just uh, it's 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 been very it's been very cool to see like what's been going on the the, the past week. Yes, sir. Uh, which is a good kind of good kind of segue to go um, to talk about or talk with Angel Master. Protocol. Yeah, Ch Ch Angel Ch Protocol. How did how did Dow it? How do how do how we Dow it, Chauncey? <laughs> hello, hello. Thanks for having me on again. Uh, always great talking with the dog community. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, love the combo going on uh, about Ukraine here. Uh, it, so, Angel Protocol. I think many on the call are probably familiar now, but um, we are a Web three based charity protocol, uh, meaning we we fully lean into decentralization and community owned aspects and governance voting. Uh, and part of that is uh, facilitating um, donations through through communities like Own the Doge, uh, and you're incredibly generous. Uh, I mean, <laughs> lots of funds you've sent through to charity, but um, your 500000 uh, that was invested to set up a perpetual donation fund uh, that we're facilitating. 
And so the way that works is we're harvesting yield from that $500,000, um, sending that yield on to charities and causes that are important to, to your community. Uh, so that can be directed anywhere that you need. Um, by default, it's been going to uh, automated donations across um, all of the, the whitelisted charities on Angel Protocol. Uh, but now we are specifically directing that funding over to uh, support humanitarian relief efforts in Ukraine. Um, so I, I'll stop there for a second, but would, I, I'd love to, to speak more to that. Yeah, no, thanks for thanks for popping on. Uh, I was like inviting some Dow friends just so they could like kind of hear you know, how we've been utilizing you. Cause I think it would be really cool to, and we haven't really talked that much about it, but like, you know, have other DAOs, you know, follow suit and create a kind of a donation fund. Like we have, that's like, you know, perpetually yield farming and directing those funds. To, and, you know, we can basically, I think how we've been doing it, right. is like, we've been kind of allowing it to just go to like an index of, of funds, like around the UN sustainability goals and just kind of a broad approach. But when things like this happen and like Ukraine, like then we get the opportunity to like focus those funds uh, for a period of time or as long as we want as a community to support. So it's a cool model, I think, for other DAOs to follow and, you know, would love to, you know, continue to like talk about our work together and, in order, and hope to see like, you know, other DAOs kind of do take a portion of their treasury and do something like this. Um, in our case, I guess we already had earmarked this money for a donation from the initial MISO auction. But, you know, I think it would totally makes sense for other DAOs to have uh, do something with their treasury in that sense. So, um, yeah, no, I just think you're just excited. And then, you know, I think as far as like uh, you, the focus on like where, you know, as we, you know, we voted pretty substantially over overwhelmingly yes on sending at least a month of months worth of uh, funds to Ukraine humanitarian organizations. You guys have been put working super hard the last week to try to make sure you had everyone on board and ready to go. And we had been talking to save the children again, kind of like, where did we end up? Where did you guys end up with like the organizations that you chose? Uh, yeah. So, so save the children is still in process of uh, fully onboarding. Um, but ongoing discussions with them, uh, very positive with Atore. I think he's also spoken to the community before. Uh, in terms of the organizations currently set up, um, we have uh, CORE, Third Wave Volunteers, and Nova Ukraine. Um, these are all organizations that are focused, well, so CORE is overall disaster relief and refugee efforts. Uh, Third Wave Volunteers is focused on orphans. Um, so they've got uh, a number of orphans that they are uh, preparing to help out and also um, transport out to, to loving families. Uh, and Nova Ukraine uh, is actually an organization that um, takes funding and works with a number of different Ukraine humanitarian orgs and disperses that funding out amongst them. Uh, so it's a nice mix of actual local Ukraine organizations as well as some more global organizations. Uh, like CORE, for example, was, was founded by Sean Penn. They do work all over the world. Um, but uh, refugee needs are, you know, significant overall. So these are our charities and organizations that are important to us to support. And with Ukraine in particular, um, there was a lot of funding that was being directed to the Ukraine government and some of the more uh, <clears throat> uh, conflict-oriented organizations. And, you know, we're extremely sympathetic with the defense efforts and, and we encourage everyone to send money that way as well. Uh, but it seemed like there, the, some of the more non-government organization types that were focused on, on the actual people impacted by the conflict weren't getting as much uh, attention and funding. So that was part of the reason we built our portal around those types of organizations. Yeah, I love that. Love that. Yeah, I think that's a, it's a complicated uh it's a comp I don't, we don't probably need to go all the way into it now, but just that, yeah, like complicated challenge when it comes to a conflict like this, where, you know, people are trying to like, some people are leaving, some people are trying to defend themselves. Where do you go? But I think inevitably, as far as the dog community is concerned, it's like, it's just clear to go towards humanitarian and civilian organizations where we can support families and kids and, uh, to in their effort to either 
leave or support themselves with like, you know, economic collapse when things like this happen and stuff like that. So appreciate, appreciate you and looking forward to getting updates soon on, on sending our funds that way. A hundred percent, hundred percent. We'll, uh, we'll record one of the donations going through actually, and, uh, and share that out with the community so they can see it actually, um, being invested in, but, uh, oh. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I, I really appreciate the, the partnership um, from Own the Doge from, from the beginning. And uh, I really think that we're doing something. It's it's one thing to, to play around with all this magical internet money and kind of enjoy those gains yourself. But to, to see them translated into actual real world impact and people doing work on the ground, I mean, it really brings it all home and makes it all worth it. Um, and you know, this this kind of support wouldn't be possible without everyone on this on this community call. So, uh, just huge, huge heartfelt thank you to all of you. Sounds good. Well, more to come there soon. Uh, as always, pleasure, Chauncey. I know you got a lot to probably get back to right now. So, uh, we'll we'll keep the community in the loop. You know, Paco's. Paco just wrote a great, you know, blog post on how we're always doing good and all the donations we've done, you know, in short, you know, we're like around $2 million donated or earmarked for donations. And we try to factor that into everything we're doing. So I love that part of the community and like that part of like the Doge, the greater Doge community of like always do good every day. And, and I think that we really do a good job at living up to that. Hundred percent, hundred percent, and you can go see your efforts. Like we're building out like proper dashboards for this, so you can see your position and see it grow and see a summary of everything that's been sent out. Uh, but you can also see it on chain now. Like you can go to angelprotocol.io/app, uh, see the leaderboard, and one of the top charities there is um, Ace of Hearts, uh, which you sent two hundred fifty thousand dollars to. Um, another charity there um, that that has fifty thousand in their account. Uh, and you can see not only what they have, uh, but what other people have donated and now how that grows 10 years out based on tapping them into DeFi yield that they wouldn't otherwise have access to. Um, so, I mean, we really believe in this space and uh, and yeah, to your, to your earlier point, I mean, if there are any other protocol treasuries, if anyone knows anyone else who wants to get involved in this way, um, there's this kind of, you know, Web3 is about incentive alignment largely. and uh, there isn't really an incentive alignment for, for protocols to donate their native token treasury typically because uh, it's going to impact them negatively because, um, you know, <laughs> they donate their, their token, it gets market sold to go to a stable coin that, that gets donated to the charity um, and it's, it hurts the community from a price perspective. Um, with Angel uh, and this Locked for Good program that, that Own the Doge has really helped us pioneer, uh, we take those donations, harvest them for yield ongoing. So it's not just a one-time donation, it's a perpetual donation. Um, and if the, the native uh, protocol is donating like their actual base token, um, rather than market selling that, we actually commit to, to holding it forever. Um, so it's locked from circulating supply, uh, we harvest yield from that, that yield goes to charities. Uh, and so it really becomes a win-win-win um, where the protocols get to donate, their communities benefit and see the positive impact that's making in the world. Uh, and it creates a giving stream that keeps giving forever rather than just once. So again, um, thank you for helping raise awareness of that and being one of the leaders in that space. Yeah, thanks, Chelsea. Really appreciate it. I think what, another thing that I was really impressed again was uh, how it went from, what, just, just a week to be able to vet and curate the the best um charities um to be able to uh, put rails that that they could um receive crypto to and i think i think instead of like having to go to each one or having us have to decide which one it goes to it, it's it's in an index right so is there like a ukraine relief index that it, or am i am i, Correct. Am I saying okay yeah, yeah. So if so, anyone can go right now, uh, Ukraine.angelprotocol.io, um, and you can see the organizations. You can either donate all of uh, to all of them um, through an index, or you can donate to any individual one through the Angel Charity Marketplace. The the other for fans of Web three here is um, we we're not 
like custodians of charity funds and we actually push every charity to open their own crypto wallet uh, and help educate them on, you know, OPSEC security around that and give them multi-sig and all that good stuff. But every charity on Angel Protocol has actually created their own crypto wallet and, and utilizes that. Um, so we're bringing adoption into the space uh, and, and trying to do it through an avenue where people are seeing the best that this place has to offer rather than the, the degen worst of it. <laughs> Yeah, very true. Yeah, <laughs> the 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 times where yield chasing you know goes to 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 good, right? Then, but m maybe what you would call benev maybe benevolent degeneracy, <laughs> something. D D gens with hearts of gold, man. Uh, yes, <laughs> <laughs> a huge part of it all, and, and we love it, man. People want to give, you know. People want to give. Uh, there, it's it's you just got to make it easy. You just got to make it easy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess you could say that's how Pleaser Dow formed, right? It was just a bunch of DGENs that wanted to do good. <laughs> so it feels like it, it, it's nice that it seems like it, it trickles down that way. But at the end of the day, it's, you know, that, that there's that, that, um, that charitable aspect, so. Right on. Well, thank you, Chauncey. Yeah, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. What do we got next on the agenda? Yeah, so it sounded like those generals got rubbed. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, surprised, surprisingly, he's not talking, which, you know, we know how he loves to talk, so. Well, if we make him MC, he, <laughs> that's what he's good at, right? So, <laughs> um. Uh, you know, think uh, I could talk about Bark Tank too, really quick. Um, so you know, anyone who's been in our Discord, uh, we've there's uh, someone from our community, JK from our community, has made this uh, this dog tools, uh, which is like Dex tools meets Trading View, but for dog. Um, so it gives you like all the metrics that you need. Um, as maybe as a trader or just someone who, you know, wants to have a little bit more uh, in depth of like how, you know, what, what dog is doing. Um, it's in beta right now. So uh, if, if you're a VIP in our discord, uh, the beta link was, was dropped so that you can check it out. Um, I think it looks awesome. It's uh, and, and not, not only is it, you know, it, it, is it a browser website, but, but also, um, uh, works on mobile too, uh, which was really cool. Um, so if you have a chance, uh, if you're VIP, go into the beta and then also just, you know, play around with it just to see if there's any feedback that you can give to, uh, to JK, the, the, the dev behind the project. So, um, it's so cool. Such yeah. a great job. I just wanted to say just really yeah. nicely designed. Like a lot of people say they're full stack developers, but I feel like JK, like truly like has it had a great eye for design and UX UI as well as the underlying polls and backend. So it looks, it looks really dope. I think it's going to be a great way to like track the project. I know I'm personally going to use it a lot. Yeah. Especially there's going to be more features too, right? Like I think there's just, I, I guess because of it being in beta, it's just kind of running lean right now, but there's going, it seems like there's going to be more features of um, also like integrating the other projects that have come out of, dog and, and how to track that to like uh like nfts like the fast food doges or the, the pixel portal um and getting metrics from that too um yeah it just seems really really cool and and just the design in it is just vis very visually pleasing so very very impressed um and the the other one like a, another update i had for the doge boarding game so it's very far along I want to say it's it's probably won't take much longer until it's ready to go, um, but as it's developing more, um, I would say like the game is going to be way more like the Tony Hawk games uh, or like the more recent ones where it's more open platform, mission based, story driven, story driven, um, but it looks very very fun and actually kind of exceeds the expectations that. Um, you know that that we've had when when it first came through as a proposal 
I think they're putting in a lot of effort uh, to make this one of their kind of like uh, golden child projects um, where they're like, okay, you can have, you know, this, this simple sandbox game. Um, but this, you know, they want to make this like the gold standard of like what sandbox can, um, uh, what, what they can handle at the moment. <laughs> and, and, uh, so I, I know the goal is, the goal is to try and get it ready in time for sand, sandboxes next season pass. Um, so, so that, you know, we, we can be able to, um, get some play to earn mechanics behind it, like being able to play the doge boarding game to make, uh, to, to, to earn some sand. Um, but we, we've also been talking like ways that, uh, are, you know, are there, are there like additional levels or places that, you know, you, you can only, uh, you can only participate if, you know, if you hold dog, if, if we can get some more token gated, uh, exclusives out of it. Um, you know, that, that's, yeah. what, that's what we're talking about right now. Which, which they're definitely, they're they're definitely on board to, to doing. So, should I? I mean, should I drop the teaser in like the uh, in the Citadel, the video? Yeah, why not? Yeah. All right. I, I, it... Yeah. So they, it's not complete for sure, but they're pretty far along, and uh, yeah, it's 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 dope. So, yeah, if you're in, if you're in the in the dog Discord. I'm gonna drop it in the dog team updates. Uh, if you want to take a peek at like kind of where they're at with it, yeah. And and I think it, yeah, I think it's gonna be really cool. It's a great foray deeper into the metaverse for us. Yes, and what they said, like basically trying to push um, sandboxes. Uh, I guess like what what they can like what sandbox can do, uh, like pushing their specs to the max, um, which is very cool. Um, maybe just pushing the envelope of like what other sandbox games might be in the future. Um, but yeah, there's like a total like story behind it, but they're also that I think that the team has been really like receptive of, of um, like any, um, I, I would say like any like suggestions we have to make it more and more on brand um, to what dog is. And instead of like, collecting coins maybe the, maybe the the doge collects pixels or like maybe even the way that the the story progresses or like the, the people you talk with like or even just how doge it's um, herself talks so I feel they, they've been like really receptive of of, of our feedback and like kind of making it the way that we would like to to have it uh have it done so i would say Good time like if we put in the citadel which is our again our our channel for vips um that if, if you if you watch it like please please feel free to um make any feedback um anything constructive that we can bring back to uh the the, the team to you know just um see if they need to update anything or just kind of re i don't know I would just yeah re, re maybe even like rebrand a few things. We definitely want to make it more uh, doji if we can. So if you have some suggestions, like always feel free to drop them in Discord. It's probably the easiest way we're going to be able to see it. I just saw uh, Elliot from Fast Food Friends say T minus ten minutes for a baby reveal. So what? Like in three minutes, it's it's uh, the babies get revealed. Yeah, three, yeah okay. 3 p.m. Eastern is is the goal. So, if anyone has to run off to 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 see it, I I don't blame you. Uh, but I think the only other thing we had was maybe just talking more about the douge try dog. Yeah, yeah. So we're done. I think uh, we've been hard at work helping build out the foundation of the Dow. You know, we've been doing some. We you know we kind of started early with testing snapshot voting and discord voting now we've been working on the basically we we were working with pleaser to kind of separate out some of the dog components our treasuries uh multi-sig um and so it, we're kind of like figuring out just how to do that in the best ways and put the best you know our best foot forward 
with the idea like we want to continue to make this more community owned and like support our our doggos like first and foremost and the people that are like contributing and helping us in the community and you know i see julia here with from the doge claren should totally bring her up shout see what the latest is happening with doge claren after eat denver cold plunge who's been leaning in helping us a ton on the on on both like the dow side as well as like you know that the amazing pixel project and i think there even might be some more like they're also going to start working on v2 here soon which would be pretty dope um and you know and and we got a bunch of great people in this call doge ninja helping on bark tank stuff chocorado is just like always like creating memes and you know did awesome fun dog pilling at uh eat denver so we you know we we we're just really believe in you know decentralizing in the in the best way to keep the project agile to keep us moving forward as fast as possible and making sure that we empower the community members that have been here since the beginning and really care and been putting the time in. So I think that's one thing to kind of call out is like we're working with Pleaser to do certain to kind of continue to move towards more independence and more dog DAO ownership or the DAO D A O G E as we're kind of calling it. Um, that'll be our dot ETH is like DAOG dot ETH. Um, and we've got a bunch of, a bunch of the assets around that too. Uh, so we've, we've got some, we've got, still got some legwork to do, uh, you know, Zona, AKA Bubba, you know, has been doing a lot of good work, uh, with cold plunge as well around like governance flow, bringing more clarity and transparency to just like how decisions are made. Um, that'll be helpful. I know we've had kind of a bark tank flow where you know over and under 50k is kind of like been how we've rated it and we've got i guess also d and other updates too right like doge king joined on the joined us on the the bar tank council to help uh magic hands and doge ninja kind of like helping helping us vet a lot of the proposals that are coming through um we want to you know continue to ramp up that uh, and you know, you utilize the community fund in the best way and in a, in a more and in more decentralized way to like make sure that we're supporting our doggos as much as possible. Uh, and you know, building this project from the inside out, I think that's really important to stick with our values of you know how you know having fun, doing good, like just overall, just like our excitement around the meme verse and uh, and Doge and just bringing Doge to that next level. Uh, so yeah, long run on sentence. Uh, I think, uh, I, I, I tend to do that, but we've got, you know, a lot of amazing people here, a lot of amazing people on this call, um, that are helping and we'll kind of like reveal pieces as they get more formalized and, uh, more clear. And, you know, just to know, like, as we're working on the kind of the DAO and the decentralization side of it, as much as we're working on, the growth and the community building side of it so that we're, you know, creating, we're, you know, coming at this with a long-term vision of like what this could be. I know Paco and Zo and Bubba, like they like to talk about provenance of Doge and like how Doge is like one of the most recognizable images on the internet. And Doge is the OG. And, and this is this commu whole community and like your kind of membership in this community by holding dog is all centered around one of the most you know notable uh memes in the world and you know i think we're going to continue to perpetuate that out and out and do it in kind of fun crazy wacky ways so there's kind of those two sides of the coin i think the community ownership and the decentralization which is the dow and then the, the growth and building holders and you know making sure that we're like inviting in the best people to this community uh on a you know daily weekly you know hourly basis and uh, we've seen, you know, continue to see growth on uh, both sides of those things. And we'll continue to report back to the community as we have uh, exciting pieces to show and things get formalized. So long spiel. I don't know. Did I miss anything in that, Bubba? Uh, no, I mean, everything I completely agree with. Um, it just shows that there, there's extremely long-term vision for DOG, right? And making sure that uh, the, the DAO that's put in place is something that makes uh, the NFT own and govern itself, um, as, as we say. And uh, like, I think we're just incredibly 
uh, I guess blessed to have this community fund because then it really does empower uh, the the community to to work together to to make dog like this like this Willy Wonka factory, right? Um, yeah. Of of just like pure entertainment of fun, but but you know has enough to be able to 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 empower and incentivize the community too. Um, I'm really I'm starting to get really excited about. The, the bounties that we can put in place because I think like um, that could be just a, a very fun way to get people to uh, spread the message, you know, and, and you, you get paid in dog, like, yeah, the coolest thing ever. So, yeah. Um, but I, I think the only other thing I haven't mentioned is that um, we are, we, we do use like um, pleasers counsel or, or legal and outside counsel to help, um, just just to make sure that everything's all buttoned up um you know the the way it should be um you know yeah oh yeah 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 right yeah so and i think like obviously like what like fractionalization was in the news this week um where you know like the sec is like kind of like oh you know like looking at these things and you know u.s government blah 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 so I think, yeah, I think that's a good point. It's like, we have like incredible, we have an incredible attorney in the firm who was literally Kobe Bryant's attorney and like good friend, <laughs> as well as like uh, outside counsel, Paul Hastings. So we have like, we're, I think we're, you know, what's great about being part of the Pleaser Network is just we have really, really great resources and connections to be able to do things in the best way possible. And be even though we're at the bleeding edge of, you know, Web three and yeah, you know, the memes verse. <laughs> so I think we're like I think yeah, it's a good point there, Bubba. It's like there's just so much, uh, so so much good good vibes within Pleaser and us and with you know and the and the connection between this project being kind of the inaugural Pleaser project, bringing things back to the people after purchasing a culturally significant piece of art with a charitable component. So, yep. Um, yep. And, and, and just how pleasers, you know, continuing to give resources for things that people sometimes don't realize <laughs> that are yeah. extremely important and, 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 you know, serves the longevity of the project are, are things that a lot of things that kind of happen behind the scenes that, uh, you know, that just make sure that everything is, uh, you know, compliant and runs smoothly, you know, and, and something that we can continue to uh, be able to be proud of holding for a very, very, very long time. Um, yeah. 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 And I guess I maybe, oh, and I guess part of the news of like NFTs and fractionalization, the news is like overall, everything that we've been hearing thus far is like nothing to worry about. I think that, you know, one, we're very compliant and focus very much on our membership, our, our, our the, you know, everyone being a part of this community that's, you know, owners of this you know, stewards of this amazing piece of art, the Doge meme, as well as, uh, you know, I think like I've, I've heard from various councils at different, at different organizations, it seems like, you know, that this, this wouldn't have been leaked in this way if it was going to be very like worrisome. So I think we're, I think we're in a good place. We're still excited. And, and I don't think this should affect us too much. And either way, like, you know, we're building this incredible doge community so yeah i think uh shout think, out to all the all the all the all the people out there helping us do that yeah no seriously um i completely agree and i think it's it, 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 the community has a lot to thank for right because the the way that our ecosystem has been built has been built off the community and and so the ecosystem just provides more utility to dog as 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 n not just like uh owning a piece of history but also you know increasing the utility that you're part of this um this this overall like membership of this um exclusive club so it's like fr you know friends with benefits but um wacky crazier maybe. crazier yeah. <laughs> friends with benefits wacky uncle <laughs> yes yeah totally yeah thanks for prompting me on that because i think that's you know there's there's probably like a lot of these logistical things that within the DAO and within like the legal sphere that we don't talk as much about because it's not quite as fun sometimes. But you know that's like a important part of 
building this building this this project together. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But in lighter news, we got uh, Julia as a speaker. Julia, tell us tell us what's going on with the Doge Clarin. Hey, hey. <laughs> how is everybody? Good, good. <laughs> well, still think, well. Def- definitely still thinking about East Denver for sure. Oh, I know. Me too. That was so much fun. I'm still recovering, I think, but I'm close to back. <laughs> oh, that's right. You got because you got co- you got COVID out there, yeah. right? I got the COVID. <laughs> Maybe party too hard, <laughs> but doing well, doing well, been well taken care of. Um, so I'm glad to be on this call and like saw you guys were on. I'm going to be working on um, some propositions coming up, and I've talked to people, kind of. Uh, I guess at all different conferences that are coming up in the next six months to see like what's next for the Doge Clarin. We have some fun ideas that are next. The biggest thing is we want it to be fun for the whole community. It's so, like, what can we do to include the community and make it something where we can all be a part of it or all enjoy it to some uh, greater extent. So I'm definitely open to ideas. Um, we've kind of thrown around, tried to organize, talked just the other day about Maybe having a type of NFT you can purchase to where when the Doge clearance in your city, we can go on a little joyride and I'll make sure it's fun and scary. No, no problem there. Um, <laughs> and just different ways where you can be a part of this thing, because the, the Doge clearing I really see as me being a steward of this item rather than it being like, this is mine and only mine. And I want to find more ways to make it fun for everyone. And it is kind of like a unique there's, uh, I feel like in person, there's a different, it, the, the thing has a personality of its own. So I would like to share that with more people. And uh, I'm just in love with the dog community. I'm in love with everything you guys are doing and the spirit and ethos of your group. So I am just want to pop in and say that like, I'm very open to ideas. I'll be working on propositions for the Discord and I'm excited to do more in the future incredible cannot cannot wait to like work that out yeah i love like like yeah I, who knows where it will where it could go and i you know i think but bring bring the doge claren back to the people or like you know finding some way that people could yeah get joy rides or like rides with you at certain events that you bring it to or like you know off and having some sort of nft component yeah there's just like a bunch of cool the, I think the farthest was like we're like, well, should we just have the Doge Claren like in the DAO, so that you know, like it's just it's it's like you know, full or partially owned with you, and like the DAO, then that kind of gives for, provides some level of access to people if they're in the same place, same time, you know, at, at a crypto conference or something. Definitely, so. <laughs> yeah, and like those are things that I'm totally open to, and I think it would be hilarious and funny and kind of revolutionary in a way to have assets that are owned by like-minded individuals, especially ones that are, you know, that thing is absolutely absurd, but it's also, um, it has like a weird sort of value such as the Doge does that's not been historically recognized, but I think that it's coming around uh, more in time and that's the value of fun, you know, and what's fun is sustainable and what's fun gives life meaning. And, I, and that's a lot of what I think about when I think about like the Doge or what Pleaser Dow is doing. It's, it's, um, it's a greater form of value that's been recognized by maybe these like traditional non-decentralized organizations. And it's so great to um, highlight that value, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's, yeah, well spoken. Yeah, the people's car now. The people's car. <laughs> the people's <supercar>. car. <laughs> the people's um, supercar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, probably cooler than it is yeah it's totally cooler than it is like in a picture i mean and the fact that i I was able to finally kind of see it but then just see how literally everyone that came out of the uh out of out of the conference to to you know it was just immediate smile on their face um to to see it uh you know pictures everywhere po apps being claimed uh you know swag being thrown out it was just it was a very cool um experience and yeah i guess i guess we we threw that out there it's like what if the dow bought the doge clarin well then it's fractionalized by proxy right and then it should be that the the doge owns a certain amount um that you know anyone who has dog can 
do special things with the Doge Claren. That there's obviously so much more to talk about, but that's why like the first thing that we want to do is like bring the Doge Claren out to Denver. It's something a little bit more lightweight, uh, but just saw the immediate impact that it had on on just you know on the community and 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 the public and yeah, I would love to see what like the next step looks like. Um, so that's why, yeah, I would say that's definitely a question that hopefully like the community can help answer. Like what, what's the next thing? What's the next thing that we can do with the Doge Clarence? Because, um, you know, possibilities are endless when, when, uh, when web three is involved for sure. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. That's it. Yeah. It was such a, yeah. Eat Denver was awesome. I, we had like almost 700 poaps claim between Meow, Me Wow Wolf and the Doge Claren. It was like, a, like that alone, I feel like we're, you know, it's just, that, that's IRL, right? It's not like an easy task. You have to actually find, go to the event or find the Doge Claren that was driving around all over Denver in the snowstorm. In the too. snow, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was wild. I can't believe you did that. <laughs> I can't believe you drove that back in, um, after the Meow Wolf in the, in the blizzard, in the literal yeah, but... blizzard. <laughs> I'm a tiny little girl, but I'm not really scared of much. So we all made it and it was super fun. And the hilarious part was when I was coming down that next morning, there was this, I got a little bit stuck in a spot and I had to like reverse and go forward. And this guy was like, I can't find any Ubers. Are you going down to the, the art hotel by any chance? I was like, hop in. So like now I think it would be really funny to do like a Doge ride share for one day and to like only accept one passenger and just like do rides at one of the conferences going back and forth, but nobody knows it's the Doge Claren that's coming to get them. That's so cool. Wow. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Or like, or what, when, when you normally have like shuttles, right. That come from a, a hotel to a conference that, yeah. uh, it's just like shuttle, 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 Doge Claren shuttle. <laughs> just like, Whoa. Yes. And I feel like the conversations that happen within those moments are really special and intimate. And it's like an ultimate dogely uh, experience that you can foster if you're in the right mindset while you're doing it. Yeah, it's, it really does seem like it peels back um, just the, the, the inner wackiness or like the inner child in people, you know, that that they uh because uh, how, how else do you react, right? It's like, it, it makes you kind of giddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you know, and, and, and puts you back to maybe like feelings that you haven't had in a very long time, you know, or it's that, that maybe it brings out like, it, I don't know, it, it's almost like a psychological in, in the way that you probably like <laughs> perceive the world when you get picked up in a Doge Claren and, and, and just the, the type of like, conversations that probably get out of it um i'd be really interested if like yeah if you had like a gopro on the dash and then just got like oh. candid conversations i think that would be really wild that's such a good idea i'm gonna take that down right now because i love that and we're i'm sure already i'm sure well, there's one of those in this house right now yeah so. <laughs> what, what's like cash cab right where people just go in a regular cab and then they realize it's cash cab should be like, well, I mean, they wouldn't know that they were getting into a Doge Claren, but when they when, when they get surprised that they get picked up, like the, the the type of game you can make out of it, just seems like it'd be really fun for people to watch. Yeah, that would be really fun to do. And with the um, like, if we did trial the an idea like that at a conference, usually I know most of the conference organizers in various cities so we could easily like line it up to where it would work out and then it would be a neat way to have um, like I mean we stream stuff all the time through our platform so we could stream through things we already pay for and have and people could tune in and watch it and we could uh, you know tweet clips etc it would make for a great content creation without high effort yeah no I agree I agree um the same thing right it's like it, it was the the doge clarin was such a um just like a magnet right it was like mm -hmm. the easiest way to get people to just like come up and again like grab that po app and and uh when we we're giving out like those holy oracles like there was so much more receptive to just hearing about why why it was there right <laughs> yeah <laughs> and, and uh and yeah it was just like the the interactions we had were, were super 
super fun, you know, um, because it like the because the the immediate reaction right is like you 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 start that you start that conversation with a smile um, be, yes. because of something like that happening. So it's like it makes it makes like conversations just so much more uh, engaging and amicable uh, when there really isn't like something that you know like it it just doesn't it just doesn't feel because it's so unorthodox like it just doesn't it, it really doesn't feel like it's a, a a pitch you know it's just like hey this is what we're this is the message we have and people just get it you know so um it uh it gives that what is it like attraction rather than promotion effect and that's not yeah. i mean when i did when we did the doge clear and it was really just like i got this car and i was like uh it does it feels too serious right now and gary you know <laughs> we got together and put all these doges on it and then it truly was like a magical thing that happened. We didn't know this was going to happen beforehand, but it does have like an interesting effect where it disarms people right off the bat. And it kind of opens up their minds to things that are possible because people don't think, you know, like here's this nice car. Let's just put Doge all over it. Like it, it reopens, uh, it takes away those like societal norms a little bit and opens people's minds or ideas up to a new possibility. And it makes for great conversations all over, um, everywhere even people I don't that didn't know of the doge beforehand like I drove it around the south for a couple months and everyone would be like is that your dog <laughs> <laughs> but by the end of it we would have like this great conversation about decentralization or about uh, loving human connection or there's just so many different ways it could go and it, it's just a great facilitator of that I feel like that's uh, been my yeah. favorite part of having it around yeah I mean but like you said it just kind of it takes the norm and flips it right especially especially when it's in supercar form but any any time you can kind of get people to i don't know maybe like break the simulation a bit or yeah. this is like this is what they think is normal and then you completely just like show people that uh no like <laughs> we can get we can get way more absurd and like break it just breaks you out of the, the mold that it's like oh maybe maybe i don't have to take life so seriously you know just a, it's a good, it's a, a good constant reminder that uh you know stop and smell the 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 doge colored roses i guess <laughs> love it yeah you always have oh. some cra cra crazy analogy there bubba <laughs> <laughs> well it's so so great to have you just stop by julia that was awesome i'm glad to hear and i'm looking forward to the conversations and if anyone in the community has thoughts on what it would be fun to do with the Tosh Claren. Like, feel free to ping us or share it in one of the chats. Oh, uh, hey, uh, Bubba, maybe one more. I, I'm getting some pings in general chat for the POAP uh, link again. I think. Oh, yeah. Let me know if I get it wrong, but I think it's what? POAP.website slash do good. Yeah, back, uh, yeah, backslash do good, one word, all lowercase. D O G O O D. Do good. It's a, uh, I again, can't even hope that worked for you. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I know we're a little bit over, but I see like Harambe on here. I kind of want to hear what's going on with Harambe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> were you guys into that? I, I'd, be, I'd be curious Why to hear not? how the Harambe uh, NFT is doing. Uh, if you're down to come up, just request uh, as a speaker. I don't know if it'll happen, but I would definitely think that Harambe would be on Dank Bank. Also, another thing too is something I found out yes yesterday was that uh, the Kiev Zoo, or like, ha so right now there's like a an issue where uh, like they they can't they can't get the animals out of the Kiev Zoo, and and you Ukraine's only gorilla is in Kiev and they're like I don't know I guess I just I just noticed that oh yeah um, you know now now we have another gorilla crisis on our hands um his name's Tony I think he just celebrated his like 45th birthday a couple days or a couple years really? ago wait 45 yeah. holy crap yeah yeah he's a monster but yeah Tony like man Thoughts out to everyone and Tony, <laughs> but 
I I I think I yeah. I I, I, pl- I placed it I pl- I placed it in in the Harambe chat and people were like oh we need to we need to save we need to save this guy. Oh wait no, okay yeah. If and if anyone I mean also like I guess I don't have an immediate meeting next. If anyone wants to just come up and just ask questions about you know the project at all, uh, just request to be a speaker. I think any of us would be happy to answer. Yeah, we can do. We can definitely do open floor for sure. Oh, and yeah, the uh, the fast food baby doges have been revealed. I know, mine's so cute. I got like this. I got like a McDonald's hat and a, and a red scarf. It's like very on fleek. <laughs> yeah, my, mine's like swagified. It's got a beanie. It's like the, this huge like this huge chain and and blue shades it looks pretty dope uh looks like we hit the minting cap for for the for the for the, for the po app sorry well, king yeah i mean only thing you can do i guess is like just you know come you have to just come sooner i guess I think we well, we usually just call it out once a couple times in the beginning and then the end. Yeah, but. well, you know, sh- shout out to the you know, staying here to give the code to other people that don't show up to the call. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's yeah. probably part of the problem. Is it, as soon as we say it in the beginning, it just goes like wildfire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a problem. It's something that you can't really handle with spaces calls. Um, uh, we, we make, you know, the, the only way to just make sure that we can even still give out PO apps is to, to have that cap because, he, you know, there are just poachers and there's nothing you can do to, to, to stop that with, with a yeah. basis call. So sorry yeah, like, for the people that were in this call that were waiting for it. Yeah. You, know, you, you can, you can thank the people that are here to, um, you know, to, to give it out to, to groups for, for no reason. So. Sorry, I have to be, I have to be kind of a jerk, but you know, the, this is why we can't have nice things. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, it's yeah, it's it's like easier. Is it easier to do in Discord? Um, for that sort of when that mechanism ha- like so that it's like harder to share because you kind of have to. It's like naturally auto- It's automating the uh, proof of uh, proof of attendance process, well, right? Yeah, I mean, it's. So there's a DGen bot, right? And that's what we use for. That's what we've been using for Discord again. Uh, is where it actually like the the bot sees like who's in the in, in the bark chat, um, like in the actual voice channel, so that it uh it then it then gives you a list at the end of like who is there for longer than ten minutes, and then what you do is then you just you just drop the links to like it like the bot then marries like the 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 text file that you have of the of the the claim codes and and the 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 people that were um on the call and so then like the the person can claim a po app and it, and if if they were on that i guess like allow list uh that they were on the call then then one just one code goes to them and it's just a, it's a unique code that only gets to be redeemed once and you can't, you know, so it, it does go to people who are actually on the call and were there for like longer than 10 minutes. I know they're like trying to do that for spaces. I don't know exactly like when that'll happen, but it's like the, it's the next step and and how they want to build out uh, the, the bot. Um, or if there's anything that maybe even Po app is doing for spaces, I, I don't really know, but yeah, there's no, there's no. Yeah, that'll be the. Yeah, and it's nice. It's, I think Spaces has been nice. I mean, I don't know if anyone has opinions on this of like Discord versus Spaces, but I think Spaces is nice to, as we just to give provide more uh, transparency to like the greater, commu- greater Doge community around the stuff we're doing, and some and even though like di- I love like how intimate Discord is, I think it helps us to kind of like get that message out there further. So the only yeah, I would say the only problem. Is like when we do a Discord call, um, we normally like have the chat uh, along with it. Yeah, uh, that's, is, I miss that. Yeah, which is which is fun. Um, 
I don't know, may, maybe at some point, like, Twitter spaces will evolve to, to have a chat function, uh, which if that's the case, then, then you know, maybe there's never really a reason to, to use Discord as much where uh, Twitter just gives you a chance to, it's just, I think it's easier. And then it also, it's also easier for, like, other communities or other people to just hop on. Um, I just think the barrier to entry is not nearly as, as, as high as, as as discord although like i definitely i definitely want to continue doing discord calls too because uh um like you said that that level of like intimacy is still there um but the the these spaces are good of just like being able to to reach out to a, to a wider audience and it, it's a lot easier if, if we have like guest speakers it's a lot easier to to have them come on on a on a twitter space yeah um, than, than yeah discord exactly yeah yes and i think some of our twitter spaces like they they get like it's hard to see in here i think i also think like there was been some there was something weird where like i couldn't even see like zen when he came in and like i so i don't think i can even see everyone in the room but it, it, it like sometimes looks like there's less people than there is because i look back on the analytics and it's like you know way more way more uh um impressions and interest and engagement on like the Twitter spaces we do, then it even feels like it on the call. So I think, yeah. I think there's, I think there's a lot, I think, and a lot of people like cycle in and out too. So it's like, yeah. Anyways, I think the tw Twitter spaces have been super helpful. I think to bring more awareness around the project. I completely uh, agree. Uh, Harambe left. Uh, that's a bummer. Oh, well. <laughs> must've been not a, not someone who didn't want to talk, but, that would have been cool to hear about that. That was a good suggestion too, Bubba, on like the helping helping Tony. Was it Tony in the Ukrainian yeah. zoo? Yeah, yeah in the Kiev a... zoo. It's a, it's Ukraine's only Kiev. gorilla, and they're having a they're having an issue with like taking it, it, mobilizing the the animals. So I don't know, like I don't know whether they're getting they're gonna get abandoned. I don't I don't really know, but it's it's pretty sad. And so yeah, now Ukraine has its only gorilla. That's in the Kiev Zoo. Um, that's could possibly be in danger too. So maybe that's a uh, a good effort for the, the 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 community behind Harambe to to possibly focus on if if they can, you know. So. Yeah, it's it makes makes perfect sense. I think like to to have that strong support component, especially for any if it's actually gorilla related. Yeah. Like, it's totally, it's totally on brand, right? Yeah. All right. Well, I guess if no one else has any questions or wants to come up and chat with us, we can kind of wrap it there, huh? Yeah. Um, Paco, is there anything else you got? Did you see your baby doge yet? Do you have a baby doge? Hello? <laughs> it's like Paco emerges. <laughs> yeah, wake up. Yeah, yeah, I don't have one. No, we gotta get you one. Well, I think that's it though. Like, now see, see how we derail when uh, Doge King isn't here to whip us in shape. We just we we go yeah. off thirty minutes. So I, I you know, but it's like it's nice sometimes. You know, I feel like I would love to like hang out in the bark chat more in Discord as well. Just like you know, have like open conversations with like some of like the mods and bark council and just anyone who's hanging out. You know. Yeah, it's... you know, you know what? That's actually I forgot to mention. Um, Doge Ninja and Doge King. They they actually are different people um different dogs uh have mentioned that maybe after this call they'll uh possibly jump on to bark chat after this in discord and and just talk about maybe different ways that uh you know you can dog pill people <laughs> like, yeah let's do it yeah let's, yeah let's, let's hop back into the community and just see if anyone yeah so if anyone's yeah wants to just like you know listen or hear anything that's going on i'm happy to share it anything and I'm sure everyone else here is too. So, yeah, for sure. They'll meet back in in Bark Chat 
which is in the information category in Discord. Yes. Yep. Well, hey guys, it's been a pleasure for joining. Uh, for the people who have been here for now an hour and a half, we love you. Love. Uh, <laughs> they, love. You know, wolf. Wolf. Another wolf to our doggos. We yeah, love our doggos. Another marathon call, but you know what? Like, if there's anything <laughs> else that you have, um, j- jump, jump in our Discord and ask questions. Um, we're, we're all in there, too, to, to answer anything you've got. A few of us, you can find a few of us in the Bark chat. Let's see what else we can do, you know? Let's see. I, I, I always feel like we have great ideas. Um, so, you know, now let's, let's get some more out and execute on them. Let's do it. All right. GN guys, have a good one. Love you.